Hey guys, so I was about to say this weekend, but it's not really the weekend. It is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, it's four days. And it's like what you, my hair, wow. It's like what you guys would call a clinic, I think. Like there's this really good trainer that comes here and he gives lessons and it's like a theory part. And there are people watching, but not like in a proper clinic. It's more like a training camp training lessons whatever so i thought i would vlog and today is day two yesterday we did like more flat work ish work and i will add some clips of that here and today we did more jumping but not like course jumping more like exercises like different strides different like small fences a little course like a technical course but like so it's technically difficult but it's not hard in that way like it's not big but it's I'd say that's what's hardest for both horse and rider because you really have to think it you really have to like collect and extend the horse and the horse really has to like think and work properly like never mind my rain jacket but I have a white HV polo polo shirt I have my beige godo breeches I forgot my belt and I have this white ogilvy baby pad yeah that I got from Miriam which has her logo on it for Mariam photos, which is really cool. So now I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go back down and film Mariam and then it's lunch and then I'm riding Carl later, so. And I'm cooling Santo down in the indoor because he's super spooky, like, he was literally like, he hates when the weather is bad. So then he's like bucking, like not really bucking, but yeah, I would say it feels like bucking because he's so big. Yeah, I'm cooling him down in the indoor because it's halfway raining and I don't want him to spook because I don't want to have like a bad end to a good ride. <laughs> but I think we are wearing a quite classy outfit. So I rode Santo now in the morning and he was really good. Um, we did have some issues, but like I got some helpful advice and uh, like it was better in the end. So I'll add some clips of my lesson on Santo here.
ready for action. Yeah. Now you can see her body is looking so much better. I think I'll make like a transformation video of her. So first, Kara was in the paddock, and then Santo came in, and Santo got to eat, and now Kara came in, and Santo came out. So now we just have lunch, and uh, there is a lesson now. And when that lesson is finished, my lesson is at four. So since Kara don't need as much warm up because she's her usual self, like if I warm her up too much, she'll be, she'll just get too hot. So I usually just warm her up, like walk and trot a few rounds. <laughs> so I don't, I don't have to hurry up. And this is Felissa. I'm sure she would love to be in one of my videos, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she's a really nice girl that's in this table. I know, that's, right? <laughs> yeah, so it's gonna be sad to leave them. Yay. Right, Cara? It's me. I stole the phone. I'm beautiful, aren't I? <laughs> Joking. So. My name's Melissa. I ride a pony. <laughs> there she is. Ah. What did you do? I hacked. I hacked. Can you add a little parts to my video? Yeah. Okay, cool. Wait. I forgot your name. Shit you put me through But not you Maybe I need Some therapy To bring back the sweet memory Baby I'm glad The good times faded Cause it feels so good To forget about you and me riding car too and as I just said she was quite good I mean I had drawings on in the start and before anyone criticized that it's like a joint decision between me and the trainers 
just to like keep her more under control because it's not like I use them that much but it's a very helpful aid for a horse like her like you can't train her like a normal horse when she's not a normal horse um, so yeah I just finished riding her I hosed her off tacked her off took away all of my tack and now I am mucking out their stuff I can just say already that I love this trainer like he's amazing and I'm very happy that I decided to like join into this training camp and I love the exercises we did. So now I am back in after my lessons and stable work and everything like that. And I even got a sunburn today, which is weird because the weather was so strange. Like it was pouring down and then sunny and then it's pouring down and then it's windy and then it's cold and it's hot. And that's basically Norwegian weather for you. So basically this is like, as I said, not really a clinic, more like... We call it a training camp, but I think maybe some places you would call it a clinic. But like, it's mainly like we take lessons with this guy that comes here and have lessons. So since it's like just a four day thing, we jump every day. But the first day we jump like just small jumps, like 50, 60, 70, 80 centimeters. And today we jumped a bit bigger, but it's still like more technical exercises than a course which is really good because it like it works you it works the horse it trains your eye you really have to like be mentally in place you have to like really focus and your horse has to focus and work properly so with santo today he was quite good but he has like some sassy moments when like it gets hard for him because he's big and he's a bit weak in his body so it's just like stuff that we have to work on like i don't i'm not saying it's his fault because it's like he does something and I do something wrong and then you have it going, basically. But he was good. We still have things to work on. I have to work at better striding. <laughs> but overall, he was like, he was fine. And as you can see in the video, like, it's not perfect, but it's a work in progress. And that's why we do it, because we need to work on things. And Cara was quite good too. Like, in the start, he said she was too calm. We had drawings on, which is, like, not abused because we took them off before we jumped big. But then he said like, yeah, she's a bit like, she was really calm today and that was good. And uh, when we did it, like we did the same exercises with Santo, like small vertical, small vertical, small vertical. And there was five strides and six strides. Uh, with Santo, we did both the five strides and the six strides. But with Carl, we mostly stuck to the six strides because we found out like if we did too much, she would get too, like her head would be boiling a bit too much. So with Carl, we mainly did six and then we took the drawings off and he was like, she has quite a small canter so you have to like ride forward more. And suddenly we did the four stride line on three strides because I rode her forward and that's how it goes. So he was like, okay, maybe her stroll isn't as small anyway. Uh, but yeah, she was good. I mean, she was very hot in the end, but I think she's in heat because she was acting like really strange all day. But overall, I'm happy with both of them. Like, we make mistakes, but um, as my trainer says, it's better to make the mistakes now so you know how to correct them instead of making them at shows. So I think, like, a lesson where you do everything right is really funny, like, really good for you. But a lesson where you do something wrong, like, you make mistakes, that's what you learn from. So I'm, like, we did some mistakes. It wasn't a perfect lesson. I didn't write perfectly. Of course, I never do. But we learned from it, and I hope I can, like, take his advice and... Uh, use it in my further horse career so yeah uh thank you so much for watching i hope you liked the clips i'm sorry they're a bit shaky but mariam kind of had to run around and uh yeah so thank for watching this thanks for watching this video i hope you liked it if you have any questions please comment down below and if you have some critiques like to how i ride please don't post them as i have a trainer and if you have any critique about my horse's equipment please don't post it because it's none of your business and yeah so if you don't have anything good to say, don't say anything at all.